Hello, welcome, welcome back to YouTube video. We've missed a week. Massive apologies. Mike screwed up the booking of the of the place, so that's nobody's why. fucking noticed, Dan. They well, they have now. Well, yeah, they, they have now. Yeah. I've had messages, mate. People have been Fuming. ganging for it. Outrage. Absolute outrage on YouTube. There is really people saying they're going on strike from watching YouTube. Well, like Cause, everybody else, isn't yeah, because because they haven't seen it. So in the UK. Mm. We don't oh, do anything all day. Oh, but we want more money to, to do, do it. it. So yeah, yeah it's, a bit, it's a bit annoying that. But um, yeah, we are back. Don't worry. Getting in before Christmas to make sure we have got everything for you guys over the festive period. Don't worry about it. We're just They'll nice guys. Definitely be like watching. That. Yeah, There's really nice guys like that. Yeah. What well, Christmas Day when all the family around me and you think right, what should we do? I know Get what it on we'll the do. Telly. Buy us a amount of YouTube bin session. Go gonna, for it. I was going to say Queen's speech, but no Queen's speech this year. King speech. King speech. Yeah. King speech, mate. What are you going to say to the world? Oh, well, you know, no. just things. Keep doing what you do. Keep, keep up the doodling. Keep up the keep pipe up the dreams. Yeah. They're good in a way. So, um, yeah. There you go. You need to do the intro bit. We're done, Mike. We're here to help you in any way we can with your online fitness business. Um, so if you take any value from this, which is unlikely, mm -hmm. um, make sure that you comment and like and share and yeah. all that stuff because we need it. Drop we, us, we need all the help we can drop, get. Drop us a follow in that. Because this is not going well. No. <laughs> in any way, shape or form. No. So, you know, if you do like it even slightly, um, please tell someone. Yeah. Stephen Bartlett's doing that thing now where he's like, we conducted surveys and we found out that 72% of you weren't yep. following. And yeah. now we've got it down, it's 69 and my goal's 50. We haven't got a clue. But I can, I can assume that none of no you are subscribed. So make sure you do. Yeah. Even if just one of you does it, that'd be nice, that, wouldn't there it? There you go, yeah. That's um, our aim. Yeah. Um, also, this is this is sponsored by um, Huel, um, yeah, because it's a great drink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It tastes um, like shit. It's not. Um, but yeah, anyway, today we're going to talk about. Actually, funny enough, we're going to talk a little bit about Diary of the CEO because I went through Boy. a little. Um, I went through a little binge session. I'm listening to some of their um, some of the podcasts on there. Had some quick, quite guests on recently. Um, Louis Threw was on there. I, I, I watched that one. Louis Threw. Um, like Gabby Louis. Logan was on there as well. Don't want to. Um, women shouldn't be in sport. Well, controversial. I'm only kidding. Yeah. I'm only kidding. Um, Richard Osman as well was a good one. Richard like, Osman, the guy from yeah. Pointless. Yeah. He was a good one a, on a there. Very tall guy. Very, very tall. Yeah. He can't yeah. see as well. He's really blind. Really? Yep. If you listen to it, you'd know. Um, but anyway. Not the, that one. I, on the, it was on the flight over to the UK for the mm. photo shoot, which we did in November. So um, I listened to quite a few podcasts when I was there and on the flight and the journey and stuff like that. And um, I think it's really important that we talk about it. Oh, Piers Morgan was another one. Very good interview. Very, very good interview. That was an old one though. Uh, no, was it an old one? Yes, it was an old one. No, it was an old one. I just went through the back catalogue. Um, Knowledge. And it, it actually applies a lot to online coaches because he talks a lot about giving his opinion and the fact that your opinion should be valued to a certain degree. And if you've got one, you should talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of um, good, good points in there that online coach could take. Good points from good it. Points, good yeah. points to be made. So on yeah, all that's the, on all counts. Yeah. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk about it, and, and Mike's touched on this before, and we've had our group calls, which we do on a Monday in the group every we week. Both said it. Um, we've had meetings. We both said it. Yeah. Uh, where we talk about you talked about the Elon Musk documentary, yeah, uh, and you referenced that in the group calls that we do. And I listened to the, the Diary CEO, like I said, quite quite religiously. Um, but we've not actually spoke about the topic, have we? Yeah. No, I'm going to just literally about to that? literally just Segway. about to do that as you interrupted yeah. me. Um, Cut that out. Leave so. It. Leave it. Is that all of them have, during all their interviews, have all said that at some point they had to sacrifice some part of their life to get where they are. They've all worked really, really hard. They've all given up, whether it's seeing their kids, you know, as much as maybe they wanted to, whether it's they've given up to seeing their partner as much as they wanted to, whether it was spending more hours working and sleeping some weeks, whatever it was. But they all talked about the sacrifices they had to make to get to the position that they're in, um, which I think is, is very relevant to online coaches because I think... There's this assumption that it should just be quite easy. And you, me and Mike talk about this a lot, but I think there's a lot of relevant um, examples from those people uh, and also from the Elon Musk documentary that you talked about. Yeah. Uh, so the topic of this, again, I'm going to just prize it out of you. So what's the topic of the fucking... Should you work hard or you should go. you work smart? Fucking hell, come on. They don't even know what they're watching yet. Uh, it would have been on the thumbnail, so thumbnail. don't worry about it. So um, we, we'd have both agreed bios what the title yeah on the title it would be should you be working so, hard or working you know, smart so and that's the point that i wanted to make so go on then um yeah um no look i think um it's obviously a, a sexier uh, proposition isn't it uh a four-hour work week or this notion of work-life balance or leverage coach um 
Oh, well, don't speak bad about leverage coach. That's not that's not any work though, is it? That that's yeah. not that's not smart that's or hard. Not, yeah, that's just stupid. Stupid. <laughs> you won't get anywhere without leverage coach. No. Uh, yeah. But yeah, his business fails within a year. Wow. Well, you know, going longer than a year. When so you that. make yourself look stupid there. Um, anyway, um, it's the sexier sell, and it, it's the same thing as like back in the day when it was the whole uh, eat more, lose more fat you know scenario um it, it was an e- it's an easier sell because no one wants to go well eat less well i don't like the sound of that can i eat more and, and lose my weight yeah you can do that well you can't but just you know, say it anyway just say it anyway it's the same thing and i've used this analogy i say analogy just uh no anecdote i guess anecdote, yeah. um i watched an elon musk documentary um and it just got me thinking about what I was expecting to see from it. And, and everything that, that happened in the documentary was pretty much what I would have expected to see. You go into a documentary with, you know, one of the most successful men in the world, richest man in the world, whatever. And there would have been a disconnect if I'd have watched a documentary and it was like, um, so Elon Musk day looks like this. He gets up at 9am and he goes downstairs, makes a coffee, scrolls through Instagram um meditates yeah does his yoga um w- you know walk w- goes to the gym dawdles around at the gym too much if anything it comes home goes to tesco on the way back picks up his bits you know for, for his dinner goes back does a little bit on instagram um gets sidetracked scro- like you, you wouldn't expect to see that no. and even common sense would dictate okay well i bet anybody that's not even watched this now could probably have a guess of what it looked like you're probably expecting the odd night sleeping in the office. So, yeah, sleepless yeah. nights, working straight through, yeah. grinding for, for for years and years and years, sacrifice um, financially, um, personal life, relationships, um, in this pursuit of this big, big goal. And yet there's like a disconnect uh, with coaches like, well, that doesn't apply to me because I'm not mm-hmm. Elon Musk. Well, yeah, you're not, but the same principles apply. Yeah. You're still trying to grow your own business. And if he has to work that hard, the genius that he is, I don't think you've figured out some smart way to leverage your time and grow the, the best business possible. Mm. Um, it's just, in my opinion, quite naive of, um, of coaches. Naive and lazy, um, I think. I, I do think it's a profession that attracts a lazy type of individual. Being completely honest, uh, yeah, I think I think any any job that slugging, slugging them off, slugging, slugging you off. So yeah. um, I think any job that that I suppose promises quick, easy money is is probably going to attract you know people that are you know lazy by definition. But you know the same same principles apply to you know when you watch um, if you watch Last Dance, you watch Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, um, you know anyone like that. You hear the save, stories. Save the last dance. Huh? Save the last dance. Yeah. Julie Stiles. No. No? No. Without the save, the, the last oh. dance. Yeah, Michael Jordan. Um, <laughs> don't know. Not your favourite film. No. Um, is that, again, what do you expect? You, you expect to hear stories of them being in first, staying late to practice, like bullying people who aren't working hard enough on their team, effectively, supposedly. What but, some, the, some of them have done. but this is the thing, though. Every coach shares a Michael Jordan meme. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Or they've got Michael Jordan pictures in their office. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to work as hard. And they're there. inspired by yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo turning yeah, up first, yeah. training last. Oh, Cristiano does that. Yeah, but you don't. You, yeah, you don't do it. Yeah, like, know, yeah. And 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 you know, every documentary you go, in, Tiger Woods was the same. Like you know, he could have. You think Tiger Woods right? With the amount of money he's got after that car crash, that leg injury, he could have just not played golf again. He wouldn't have done need to play golf. There's just that desire in him to want to be the best and want to keep coming back. And again, he went through all that effort, all that time. And I and I just I just think it, like you say, it's funny because again, even bodybuilders, like again, coaches share their favorite bodybuilder memes. They share their bodybuilders, and you know they don't give up. And the way they do it, and we all take the pick, take the piss out of bodybuilders for eating, you know, chicken, broccoli, and rice, and egg whites, and never eating anything off off plan or whatever. But it's also there's also a part of it I do admire <laughs> because it's like well, they are prepared to to work that hard and do that to get the result and mm-hmm. like you say all these people that share it I don't want to do that with work though. Just only only for something if I can see the instant gain of it you know mm-hmm. of me in the gym and coaches need to spend more time I think listening to other people who are successful and what they've had to do and what they've had to achieve because um, in order to achieve what they have sorry because I think you'll just see this common commonality amongst all of them which is that they yes they work smart but they still work just as hard as they did when they first started mm-hmm. It's just that the reason that their results go up is because they've spent the time working hard to figure out what doesn't work 
to then go, right, well, that does work. So I'm going to do the same amount of work and just do more of the stuff that does work. Mm -hmm. So the results are amplified. And we get this a lot with coaches. They ask us, oh, what content should I post? Or well, my, my reels aren't very good. Or I'm not very good at filming content. Or I don't know what I should be doing my lighting. Make 10 videos, right? And you'll soon figure out what looks shit and what looks good. Then you make another 10. Right, maybe I need to move the light in there, do another 10. Because they, they're, th they're in the mindset of like, oh, I'm only going to post one a week. Well, yeah, you might only post one a week, but make 21. Make 21. Why, why are you stopping at making just seven? Make 20, make 30. The, the thing is, is, is that they're not prepared to do the 10 to figure out what's wrong with it. They want to yeah. they want, they want know what's right. Straight they want to know what's right. But the problem is, is what's right is different for every single coach though. Same with like Elon Musk and Kobe Bryant. I right? use those two. The way that those two work wouldn't have worked for each other. You couldn't swap their, them around. Elon Musk work. playing basketball. No chance. Nah, no chance. He's no. white, can't jump for a start. Can't so. jump. White men can't um, jump. I've always said but that. they've they've figured out that what works for them by trial and error. You could, you know, Kobe Bryant just couldn't, couldn't just go to everyone. Here's the manual for working hard and what you need to do. Here you go because it won't make any sense to people. You have to figure it out for yourself. Much in the same way that we say to people, no, just go and film videos. It, when we say that, we literally mean it. Like people go, well, yeah, but what do you mean though? I literally mean go and film some videos. Yeah. If you film them and it sounds shit, get a better microphone. If it looks shit, get a better lighting. If you don't know how to use the camera, go on YouTube and how to how to work out how to learn to use the camera. Like that's what we've done. Like one of us, has. one of us has, yeah. yeah. One, well, one of us did. Um, I just find it odd that, that, that again people pay a bit of money to a mentor, they pay a bit of money to, and they go, "Oh, tell me how to do it then." Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what to do, and you now need to go and do it. I yeah. can't I can't tell you what's going to work for you because every single coach is different, and any mentoring group or mentorship that does give you made for you stuff like that it's going to be the same as everyone else's and you're hoping that it worked for someone else and it's also going to work for you. Mm -hmm. And what we're saying is, no, you should be working hard enough to come up with your own way of doing things so that it can't be copied and it is yours, it is authentic. And guess what? You can be more consistent with it. It doesn't feel as much like hard work and you actually want to do the work mm -hmm. rather than feeling like, I think sometimes the reason coaches don't work hard is because they don't know what works. Yeah. And I understand that. I understand that you don't want to do it, but what people need to understand is that to find out what works, you have to work hard first and just do it and just figure it out. You've used the analogy before where it's like you're, you're going into the gym wanting a hundred kilo back squat or it's quite light actually for me. Not um, for me. It's 200 kilo back body squat. Um, more like it. Um, <laughs> on the first rep. Yeah. But it, it's not like you've got to build up to it. You've got, you've got to go through the repetitions, repetitions. There's the quality. It's essentially the quality quantity. It's yeah. like, you should always aim for, for, for quality, but the way that you determine what quality is, is you have to do quantity first. Yeah. You can't look at someone else doing a hundred kilo back squat and learn from it. And go, okay, cool. That's how you do it. That's what I'm going to do. Like, that's how I need to, you can't watch it over and over again. You can't wait and go, oh, yeah, I'll just wait until I can, I can do that. You have to get those reps in. Even, even if you do feel like you can see the most perfect example of it, the first time you do it, it ain't gonna look like that. No. Um, and, 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 you know, coaches would say the same thing to someone that walked into them. If they, if they walked into the gym and said, yeah, so 100 kilo back squat, um, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. You, they would laugh. They'd be like, what are you on about? You're crazy. But like you said, the same thing applies to content creation to Instagram. If you've only posted 50 posts or hundred posts on videos and they look shit, you're not going to produce eye catching quality content the next time you post. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, so it, again, it's this, this concept of, I believe that people like Elon Musk and people like that, like you say, they once they know what they need to work on because they've worked so hard. That's why you see the results fly. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with any person, any coach we see that does really, really well and goes, goes on is that they know what works for them. They've got a method to do it mm -hmm. and they consistently produce those results because guess what? Once you have figured that out, it's so much quicker. Part of being successful is the failing. Like, that's the, that's the Michael Jordan quote they all share, isn't it? Is it? The online coaches, yeah. I've missed something like I've missed 900 shots in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I succeed. Yeah, that's, you know, one. that's the one. But, but, it's, but, it's, yeah. but it's true though. It's like part of the success is the failure because you then you then start to craft the way that, that you do it. But I think coaches want this done for you, ready-made. Okay, there there is this set thing that I need to adhere to and abide by. It's like, what should I post? How should I post it? When you realize that doesn't exist... That's that. That's the issue is that people don't realize it doesn't exist. People are searching for the the formula, the template. Mm. The okay, what's the best way to do that? The best way is to do it your way, and to get better at it doing it that way. That's the best way. Like there's this expectation sometimes of we get it a lot. What should I post this week? I don't know. What are you passionate about? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to say about the things that you care about in your voice to the person that you're trying to target? Start with that. And if you can't think of seven things to post this week, don't expect to go anywhere. 
Like, give, give, again, if, like we said before, give up. If you're not passionate about seven things, like for one week, like genuinely, get, like give up. Because um, you should be able to come up with 21, 28. Because, you, should, you should be able to reel them off. Because my, my, my thing is, is that, and again, like there's going to be an audience watching this. I say audience. Audience implies that like, multiple. There's going to be somebody watching this. <laughs> over um, and over again. I'm a yeah, Pete. Editor. Um, who, um, what, what was I going to say? What, what, was, what was you saying? Can't remember now, mate. You, no. Yeah. What, what was you just say? No more beef. Yeah, British beef. British beef, isn't it? Um, I was talking about failing and you were talking about so many times you fail and you succeed and then... No, this is it. Okay. So people are looking for this set formula of, okay, how should I how should I post? Um, but you're looking to us for advice. So then where are we getting our information from then? If, if, that's, if that's the way it works, if you're looking to us for what to post... Yeah. Well, who tells us what to post? Who's then? the master? Who's yeah. the master? Who, where does person? it go then? Yeah. And then above that, who tells them what to post? It doesn't work like that. We post what we want to post because we're passionate about the things we're passionate about. Yeah. And we think the things that we can say can help some people just provoke a thought or trigger somebody or provide a little bit of value or entertainment. Like we post those things because we care about them and we do it in our own voice, in our own way. That's, that's how you do it. And you have to do the same thing. I think one huge problem that coaches face, which I think is, is something that they need to change instantly is that they watch too many other coaches. Yeah. So we just talked there about, I suppose, anecdotes we've taken from an Elon Musk documentary from Kobe Bryant, Mike Jordan, the diary CEO, right? That is content outside of fitness mm. that we see lessons in for online coaches and all that sort of stuff. And I think so many online coaches, the reason they get so bogged down with their content is they watch other people and go, oh, I've, well, they're posting that or they're posting this, they're doing that. I'll tell you what you need to do is probably have a separate Instagram account that you have as just a private one, personal one, right? Don't post in it or anything like that, but just use it to browse Instagram and go follow some comedy, some celebrities, some sports people, you know, some some other things, maybe some um, videographers, maybe some content creators, things like that. And I, I honestly believe that if you spent your time on Instagram on there instead of on your fitness one, and you went on that one to do your kind of like browsing, which you do all the time, every minute of the day by the sounds of it, most of them, um, you would actually come up with better ideas and you wouldn't be so stifled in your creativity. And it's because you just watch fitness shit all the time that mm -hmm. you just have such a narrow view of what content is and, ca and can be. I had one of my clients the other day, I said to him, right, go sign up to some email lists and just just looking and starting to write emails. I was like, outside of fitness, if you want, preferably, I was like, just go and sign up to email lists. Which ones? I don't know. There's enough out there, like, do you know, just get a feel for it. Because it was that question of, well, what should I write about? What should I style? Well, exactly as you do your content on Instagram. If not, go look at other people's styles and see that there's so many different ways of doing it. I don't, again, people just have this, this obsession with, oh, well, how do I write an email? What do you mean, how do you write an email? You can write a five word email. Go away. Best regards, Dan. Right? You can, you can, but you can write a 500 word email. You can write a blog as an email. You can... And it's just this thing of like, do what you want to do. Send a hundred emails and see what feedback you get. Then you'll know which ones work best, which ones don't. Like, I, I just don't know what, how to answer that question anymore. I'm at my wit's end with it of like, how do I do it? What do you mean, how do you do it? You watch other people doing stuff outside of fitness. You get an idea of what you like, what sort of topics you like. You'll know that a lot of our comedy is influenced by The Office because we love The Office, right? That awkward kind of embarrassed style comedy self-deprecation, that kind of thing. We haven't like copied that off anyone. That's just who we are. Other than the office. Other than the office, yeah. yeah. Directly, sometimes. So I usually credit a comedian when I, when I you know, use their jokes. Um, but it's, that's obviously quite obvious, but it's one of those things where I think that too many coaches just looking at fitness content and going, how can I do my own version of this? Look at other content, look at other things that excite you, that you enjoy. And when I say just create content, I genuinely mean it. <laughs> Like, I don't know what more I can say anymore. Again, same with writing emails. How to write the caption on that. I don't know. Write your fucking caption. How do you want to write your caption? Do one word at a time if you want every line. Try it. I don't know. Like, what do you, how do you want to do it? Baffles me. I don't, under, and, and that's how I also know that they're not working hard because they want the answer to that question. And I'm like, but go and create it. I, I do think it comes, I do think it comes from people thinking that there's a right or wrong. I think people think that there's like a, no, but like, how should I, what, sh what sort of sh stuff should I be? But, but, but there isn't a right or wrong. There isn't a single person that can say this sort of stuff. And anybody that does say that, they're, they're wrong. They're incorrect. These content factories, these templated content bits, it's wrong. Like, 
you shouldn't be posting videos and pictures and things and captions the same as every other fucking um every other fucking coach you you shouldn't no. be doing that like the it's it's this fear. I just get this feeling that people are thinking that they're missing like a, sing, uh, a secret ingredient, but the secret ingredient is consistency and hard work. Like that's a secret ingredient. So like when Dan says just post content, he means post content that's to your niche in your voice, saying things that you want to say. Like just be be yourself, and that's a that's a harder task than you know. It's easy said than done. Be yourself because people don't don't know how to be themselves. Bizarrely enough. Like how do I how do I be myself on camera? Fucking hell! What 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 advice do you give there? I don't know. Be yourself. And and, and like you said, the, the struggle is that we can't help with any any of that. Like you see people posting all the cooking reels. I'm like, oh, do you enjoy cooking? No, not really. They just go well, don't they? Well, stop fucking posting them. Then. Like, we'll if you don't to, enjoy we'll get, them. We'll get onto the content in, in a, um, another episode, eh? Yeah, it's just it's just that thing of like, uh, that's all we've ever done. And I think people like maybe don't believe us, or they think we're holding this secret back and. Every bit of content that we look at and think about, we, we've just done it through, like we tried certain things. We know what works and doesn't work for our audience on our voice. And there is no secret. And I think if you were to watch some of these documentaries and listen to some of these podcasts and all this sort of stuff is these people here haven't stumbled across, you know, um, a YouTube video that told them how to be the way they are. And then, oh, that's it now. I don't have to worry about it. I can just, just do whatever I want. I can just take three hours off and do whatever I want. It's like that whole thing of, you have to work hard and put those hours in. Like I, I get coaches ask me, oh, so I've done my check-ins, I've done this. What else can I do? Go create content. Right, go do things. Go go talk more to your audience. Find more out about your audience. Go to Reddit forums, figure out what these people are struggling with. Create content that's going to help them. Like at some point you can't be spoon fed everything. Going back to like the Elon Musk thing, where did he learn from? Like you go, well, Again, you, you have to use extremes to, to kind of get your point over and go, well, who was telling Elon what to do? Or did he decipher the bits of information that he needed to decipher? Do his best with what he could, had his own clear vision of what he wanted to do, what he wanted to achieve, how he was going to get there, and probably fuck up loads of times across the way out. Obviously he did. Mm. He ended up fucking bankrupt, borrowing money off people. Um, nobody, There was no one going... Okay, so uh, here's a blueprint of what you need to do, Elon, to create this fucking um, yeah. space agency or whatever he's got, the Tesla and fucking all of these other companies. It's like the, the, there is no blueprint. He figured it out. The coaches, it just feels like uh, quite a lot of them ca can't figure it out. No. Like the, there's no figuring it out. There's no, um, well, okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to test that. I'm going to go and learn from this. I'm going to find that. It's, it's like, no, okay, where's the silver platter and how are you going to like, are you going to feed me my 10 K months on a plate now? Yeah. Is a is a like, where's the, where's the method? Where's the routine? It's like, go and figure it out. Yep. Only, you know, where you want to go with things and how you and how you're going to get there. We can hold you accountable to doing it. We can hold you accountable to the, the decisions that you say that you're going to make. But what we can't do is we can't come up with, and we shouldn't be coming up with what content you post on a Tuesday. That, that, no. that that's not what it's about. No, and and just to finish on this as well. Lastly, I think a lot of um, another thing a lot of coaches don't do is they just don't read enough. They're looking I don't for read, though. yeah, but they don't. They, they're looking at you're an exception though because you have the ability to it's one off decipher so. things from from what you see. One in a minute. You know. I don't think enough coaches read books because again, like and the question I get, well, what book do you recommend? <laughs> Just fucking read them, right? And figure out yourself what you took from it, what you didn't take from it. Go on Amazon, look at highly ranked stuff, well-reviewed things and just fucking buy the book and what and read it, right? Just read it. I read one the other day, really good one. I recommend it to a couple of my clients. What was it? <laughs> Predatory thinking, it was called. And it's not what you think it is. Oh, it's not what you think it is. No. <laughs> Um, Chloroform by, over the mouth. By, it? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. yeah. Um, funny, it's a short book. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I liked Quite, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good pictures in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, is that, is a guy by a guy called Dave Trott, um, who, again, Dave like our Trott. copywriter Chris, recommended one of his other books, which actually I didn't like. Uh, Chris recommended it. I read it. Didn't think it was great. I read one of his other books and it was a lot, lot better. And it just shows you that different people take different things from, from each book because Chris really liked, liked this other book. But they say, oh, I've got, I've got some time to kill. What should I do? We'll go and read a book. Oh, don't want to do that. Not it's that a bit, bit hard, that, isn't it? 
well, not really. It's just reading a book, go, go away for an hour and a half, two hours, read a book. But again, they don't have the attention span, they don't have the desire to, to want to do it. But I firmly believe that people like Elon Musk, that kind of thing, they would have, he would have read stuff and he'd have gone, right, I'm going to action that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out and see what works. Alex Hormozzi, another one, everyone fucking bangs on about all the time. He always talks about how he's read books. He re and once he finds one that he reads that's really good, he reads it more than once so that he makes sure he gets all the messages from it. He's like, you're better it's off layered. reading, you better, yeah, you better off reading one really good book five times than five mediocre books. Yeah. That's his thing, right? So if like me that with that book, I'll read that again and again when I need some ideas, when I need some some inspiration, rather than watching Netflix, rather than watching YouTube, rather than watching TV. Get your head in a book or no, it's not Kindle if you got one. It's not the same, but um, I prefer it. So yeah, than a book. Yeah, I prefer a book. I prefer a Kindle. Yeah, pick your poison. Um, the point is that it's again you're going to learn from you're going to learn something from it. Um, and again, it's going to take time. Of course, it is. Yeah, it's going to take some time. Fucking deal with it. Coaches don't want to do it though. They don't want to do it. Uh, they want to know again which books to read. Well, again, like I just said, just like different people have favorite films and favorite sitcoms. It's the same thing with books. Different people take different lessons from the books. So go fucking read some different good books. books different and needs. not the four hour work week. No, ridiculous. There you go. Work hard, everybody. Um, Give it a go anyway. Try it. It might get you somewhere. You don't know.